Whilst the opening day of the Miami Sailing Week was hampered with light conditions, day two was very different. The Starfleet racing for the historic Bacardi Cup had their wins, making the day an exciting prospect for the stellar field. Amongst the entry list for the 88th Bacardi Cup is Torben Grail, who in recent years is best known for his offshore sailing, winning the famous Volvo Ocean Race. When you go sailing uh, around the world, you, be you basically have your, your best sailing moments and your worst as well. So a lot of the, of the time you, you ask yourself, what am I doing here? But uh, then they tend to forget these uh, bad moments and remember the good ones. And when the opportunity is there to do it again, uh, well, very often you go. So it's, uh, it's very interesting sailing. Not for everyone, but it's very interesting. The Brazilian was the first ever sailor to win five Olympic medals. Four of them are coming in the star class, which is the boat that the 54-year-old has returned to in recent years. Well, it's good to be sailing star boats. Uh, keeps you uh, active, keep your reflexes, uh, your skills uh, in, uh, in, uh, in good shape, especially on a top fleet like this. So it's nice to see how many good sailors are still sailing stars. Uh, it's good for the class. Uh, it's a very fun boat, it's a very fun class, a nice atmosphere and good organization, so that's all we need. Over the last decade, sailing technology has evolved fast with the emphasis on speed. Miami Sailing Week includes new exciting classes such as the M32s, but it's the more traditional star class, the old Olympic keelboat class, that will race for the week's main event, the Bacardi Cup. Today with uh, foiling America's Cup and uh, 49ers and you know the uh, foiling Moss, there's a lot of excitement in sailing and, and it's a great, uh, it's a lot of fun. But uh, there's still a lot of fun in the star boat, a boat that's very tactical. Uh, you still have some uh, technical aspects of the boat with tuning the rig, so the boat speed is subtle differences. But uh, uh, there's some work to be done. I've always had fun. I kind of was grown up in the boat, so it's. Uh, a, uh, kind of second nature to me. Racing wise, the fleet had perfect conditions on day two. Steady, increasing breeze that topped at 17 knots saw the fleet enjoy the one race sailed on the day. Hard hiking, close battles, and a broken mast provided some of the drama. The Argentinian pair of Torquel Borgström and his crew, Juan Pablo Engelhard, led for most of the race. But they couldn't hold off the pressure from the Brazilian pair, Zarif and Prada, who went one better than yesterday, taking the win and moving clear at the top of the scoreboard. We sail against each other in the Fiend, but we, we were always uh, great friends. And uh, he knows a lot about the boat. I just, I'm just jumping in the boat, and he, he's setting up everything. And uh, our speed is good, so he, he helps me a lot also in the strategy and uh, how to manage uh, if you are fighting for the lead, how to manage the fleet. He, he's a great crew at all. With another four days of racing ahead of the fleet, anything could happen. And with a number of Olympic and world medalists amongst the field, the 2015 Bacardi Cup will no doubt be hard fought. Stay tuned to find out more.